Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to a courtroom in Michigan where we find a sovereign citizen who, uh, well, has a bit of a temper tantrum in court because, you know, he thinks he's been treated unfairly and there are conspiracies all around him. So, you know what? If you've got a claim, you might as well have the evidence to back it up, and I don't think he does. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Attorney Robinson, are you able to talk now or no? How about now? Is the connection better? It sounds much better. Your counsel may be in court, though. So give us one second. Okay. 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 All right, put yourself back on you. Gordon you Watt, you can unmute yourself for star six. That's me. Now calling the matter of can the people versus. Yes, I can, Mr. Watts. Now calling the matters of the people versus Dorian Dwayne Watts. This is ticket SP 13855599. Count one, expired plate. Count two, no receipt of or unsigned registration. Count three, no proof of insurance. Ticket SP 13855568, defective windshield. To get SP 1322740, fail to stop for a stop sign, count one, count two. Oh, uh, more than one failure to stop at a stop sign, huh? Uh, let me guess, uh, no statute, no law, right? It doesn't have a statute attached to the sign, so therefore the uh, sign is unlawful? I mean, that's the, genuinely the uh, frauditor argument right there as well. But hey, if you want to live dangerously, just make sure that nobody is on the road when you're out there, okay? No proof of insurance. Ticket SP 1183392. But count one, drove while license suspended. Count two, no insurance. Count three, improper plates. Ticket SP 1322760. Drove while license not valid. Ticket SP 1385573. Failed to. Secure low, count one, count two, fail to tarp low, and ticket number SP1385617. One count drove while license suspended. Uh, Your Honor, maybe there's something else we can add to this long list of uh, charges, and it is a lengthy list, but maybe we can just add one more thing. Uh, yeah, driving while being a smooth brain. Dumbass, because he simply just doesn't care about anybody else on the road but himself, especially considering he had no insurance. I mean, he ju it just goes to show you that these guys don't think about anybody else. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Alexandra Miller, P86290, on behalf of Mr. Dorian Watts, who is present via Zoom with the call-in feature. Mr. Watts, please state your full name for the record. Dorian Dwayne Watts. All right, now we proceed in council. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, as the, the court is aware, there is a number of tickets in this matter. Um, I uh, am requesting one, I believe today was the final pretrial. Is that correct, Your Honor? Uh, today is just, yes, a uh, pretrial. Okay, I'm uh, just requesting one additional free trial, Your Honor, to uh, get proper documentation and be able to work out these numerous tickets with the prosecutor's office. Um, and uh, I'm hoping that we will have resolution um, at, at the next hearing. Oh, okay. Let me look because it says he wants a trial. So today is final free trial. I want to get a jury trial on 1016. Did you know that? That's correct. Sorry, I'm double checking my. And I have, and I, Hold on, Mr. If you Will excuse Watts. me, John. No. Okay. One second. Let me see what she's talking about. First. Oh, I apologize, Your Honor. That is what I have written down. I, I apologize. It's been a moment since we've been before, Your Honor. Um. I, so, yes, that is what I have as well. There has not been a resolution. Okay. So, we're going to have a jury trial on 1016? Yes, Your Honor. In person. All right. So, any jury instructions you need need to be provided to the court that day. Um, we'll do a jury selection. Um, 
Report to my courtroom at 9.30 a.m. At 9.30 a.m. And we'll begin jury selection. I'll have to finish my morning docket, but as soon as I finish my morning docket, they'll call up the jurors and we'll begin selection for that day, okay? Very well, Your Honor. Thank you very much. All right. Your Honor, I have something I want to say. I have something to say, Your Honor. Go ahead, Mr. Watts. Your Honor. I, want, I have yeah. rather been witnesses that I wish to call to this matter. Yeah, okay, Just so Mr. I'm, Watts. I'm, I'm, I'm ready, to, I'm ready so, to go to trial, and I have relevant witnesses that I would like to indicate on the record right now to be called to this jury so, trial. So, Mr. Watts, you and I will discuss that, and we will bring that uh, with us as part of our jury instructions and the documentation that we provide to the court. So you and I will discuss that, um, and we'll have them brought for, for your trial on Monday, okay? So you and I will talk. So where will we get a chance to talk? She just said Monday, you lack brain moron. You might want to pay attention uh, better instead of reading all that sovereign citizen gobbledygook that you want to go pro se with, if that is indeed your inten intention to go pro se eventually. I'm going to call you this afternoon. Hello? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. All right. Yep. You're very welcome. But let, let me just say this here for the record. If my witnesses ain't in court, I'm not, I'm not going to be prepared for trial. Well, you've had plenty of time to get your witnesses together, so that's going to be a personal thing okay. and not a thing for this yeah, court. Yeah, I, I, I have another Mr. question. No. I have no. one more question for the court. Mr. Watt. I can't say nothing else. Huh? I'm just going to tell you right now. So you have had the opportunity to get all of your witnesses together. We picked this jury trial date back in July. But, but, July yeah. It's August, September, October. It's like three months later. Well, well, Your Honor, I told my lawyer and I have been informed the courts that I want to call Judge William Haley to the courts. I want to subpoena him. Judge William Haley, I want to subpoena federal agent David Harmon to this trial. And if they not going to be in trial, Your Honor, you might well just put a warrant out for my arrest. Oh, you're going to subpoena a judge and an FBI agent. Uh, where did you get that power from? Because you, as somebody who's not an officer of the court, don't have that kind of power, dude. Sounds to me like some soft tard's ego is getting too big for his britches. Okay. And do what I you got to do. Okay. All right. I remember who this is now, Attorney Miller. I got you. No worries. All right. Yeah, Mr. I want to subpoena people. Why have subpoena power? Okay. All right. So I'll have Miss Miller yeah, with me. If she thinks, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Right. Watt, if she thinks that is relative yes, to these particular cases, and these particular matters. They are definitely left. relevant to this case. They so definitely relevant to this case. Mr. Watt. They definitely relevant to the case. Mr. Watts, well, I can't. Yeah, I'm not no. Hold on, let me ask you a question. I have a question for you personally. Didn't you arraign me on a domestic violence and traffic warrants before in 2019? No, I don't do domestic violence. Okay, well, somebody arraigned me and gave me a $100,000 cash bond and didn't show up. And I stayed in jail for five days. So, Yana, whatever the state of Michigan got on me, they need to be taking it out them five days and that $100,000 cash bond. Because that's what I'm going to be talking about in front of the jury, and I'm entitled to do that. And I'm taking the stand in my own behalf. You sure that's wise, dude? Because even if you had a good lawyer to help you out with that. Your attitude right here will get you in trouble in that particular scenario, and you're guaranteed to lose that case. Just saying, though, just saying. You have that right to take the stand on your own behalf. Now, what I instruct the jury yes, maybe may not to... So it has to pertain to this particular case, and it has to be relevant to this particular case, Mr. Watts. And there are well, yeah, everything is relevant to this particular If the police pull me over for driving on suspended license, I got relevant witnesses that confirm my license shouldn't be suspended through all the corruption I have been through. Hey, y'all, I, I went home from the penitentiary for almost over 35 years, and I ain't never had a $100,000 cash money. And somebody going to answer to it. And it's corruption all the way through because of Lieutenant Nate Anderson's death. None of which is relevant to your 
particular case. It has to be pertaining to what you did in that scenario. And in addition, you just made a claim of corruption, which is the whole point of your argument right here. So you have made the claim. You need to be able to go and find evidence for it and prove it because, you know, claims require evidence and extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. But I get the feeling that I'm talking above this uh Dumbass is an education level. So let's continue on and see what else this idiot has to say. And I'm fed up with the state of Michigan. They need, they're going to listen to me this time. That's what the state going to do. I have relevant witnesses and documentation that the state of Michigan forged my signature when I was a kid for 25 years. I have the document to prove it. And the state ain't got nothing else coming for me. Nothing. I mailed them. I paid my tickets with Monopoly money. They need to address that issue as well. I'm not playing with the state of Michigan, Your Honor. They did enough you know, for me, and it's time you know, out. I want to change the venue. I want to change the venue. She's trying to talk to okay, you. Okay, Miller, have you, uh, have you had like a long enough opportunity to, to talk to him? Does he need, do we need to refer him or no? Rick, refer him. I mean, refer him. Refer, I'm sorry. Refer, forensic, forensic, refer. Can uh, I do no. that? And uh, a mess, Or do you so, just want to move? I guess that's my question. Do you still want to just want to have this trial so that, so that you know? Is that um, okay, Ms. Attorney Miller? Yeah, that's. Move? Yeah, uh, I mean, I I have spoken with Mr. Watts. Um, I, at the time of our conversation, I didn't see any you know uh, necessity for a to, for an evaluation. Um, I okay. would continue on the path that we are on, Your Honor. Um, okay. And then when I speak with him this afternoon, I'll definitely parse out the issues. It sounds like as long as you have it, then I'm okay. 100%. Okay. I was about to say. So um, if there is a witness that you believe is relevant to the case that you are unable to subpoena, let me know. And I'll be okay. able to do that. Um, and we'll try and get that taken care of for you. Otherwise, I believe that you are able, competent to be able to handle this particular matter. Um, because you're looking a little surprised today. So that lets me know something further. So I appreciate that, Attorney Miller. And um we will be we will be here on Monday, okay? We'll be ready to have this this uh whatever officers come, we'll move forward on those counts um if we're unable to work something out at that time, okay. Okay, thank you very much, Your Honor. I appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Watts, you can go ahead and, and disconnect from the call, um, and I will be in contact with you later this afternoon, okay? All right, I'll put him on mute, so. Yeah. No problem. But that's okay. We got it. And you have to cover, and we'll make sure that he has everything that uh, the counsel has been provided, and she is very much in a calm, and uh, she has spoken to him and knows what he needs to do. So, three trials on Monday. Thank right. you very much, Your Honor. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Well, I wish they would have let him get his final word in because this guy was quite delusional and uh, very ill-informed about how the process works. I mean, if he's got some beef or cor about corruption or anything like that, that's a separate issue altogether. Uh, but his traffic tickets that he's got to take care of in this upcoming trial are all about him and not the corruption that he thinks he sees. But of course, that's just another uh, delusional, soft, hard rant coming out of the woodworks. So, you know, a low information nitwit, a complete moron. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.